Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Taking money for little local people. Well, I only heard him on Pow Wow say T that T that he would Pow Wow would call his name all yeah, the time. Yeah, Pow Wow the only one gave him a shot. <laughs> That's the only one Pow-Wow. I ever heard him call Pow-Wow. his name. Pow Wow is his little his little uh, his little his little baby or whatever you want to call him. <laughs> That's you know, he don't That's... gonna vouch for him in times. You know, like, yeah. You know, all the reason why I'm saying is Pow Wow made came to his defense at a time when it was just yeah. in his business and wasn't none of your business, Pow Wow. So so he just stepped out there and said yeah, something because hey, you got the because you the bigger. You the bigger figure than me, so everybody, of course, gonna listen to well, what he, you well, say. But you, know, music, you know, in music, yeah, music, right? But you know who T. Ferris is, bro. Yeah. I had to learn him too. The thing is, I just hadn't been at home in Houston for a while, you know. But y'all know who you knew who you know who T. Ferris is around Houston, and he pulled the biggest, the biggest, what the biggest scam of the, of the century on me, you know. So, so he's so. never done nothing like this before. For, he's done like well, a, he's he's like, he know no, who he is. So. You know he is because if he'd done something no. like this before and you heard about it, you would have you know he thought twice yeah. no, before no, you did no, something like that. No, I heard about it. You know what I'm saying? But this is a friend of mine, T. Ferris. So you know, guys are always telling me, "Hey, watch out for this T. Ferris." Oh, so you guy. had warnings. Well, I, I had warnings, and that's why I, at the end of the day, I yeah, take the blame. You take the hell on that one, man. Right. Right. All the stuff that happened, I take it. But yeah. you know, it don't stop me from voicing your opinion about it. Exactly, but. I was one, you know what I'm saying, and everybody know about it, and um, and uh, you know, he got, he got me good, you know what I'm saying, and uh, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm a I'm a I'm a I'm a warrior. I always bounce back, as y'all can see. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But <laughs> but I'm like, like, I'm like, I'm say this. I want to ask yeah, about yeah, Pow Wow, yeah, like yeah. like he why he, like, why would Pow Wow even say anything in it uh, exactly. when it's not even uh, is, well, because, is it? I mean, well, you, no, would, I made a, have I made, you ever I made, talked I made, to him? I made a post saying stuff about. T. Ferris, you know, and, and that was between me and him. And but he decided to go and make a post saying, "Oh, you know, he's never done nothing bad to me." Or not. of course, he's nothing done bad. Nothing. He ain't done nothing bad to you, uh, Paul. Wall. You, you know, you like his little pupil. You his little star pupil. He gonna make you mad. Now go ask Mike Jones that same question. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Now let's see what he say. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm talking about. <laughs> nah, we ain't gonna do that. Uh, 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 yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. Mike Jones been on the <laughs> you know show. Shout saying? out to Mike Jones, yeah, man. You know, so it's like, and then other people that you can ask. Now you know, you know, Megan is doing well right now. So guys, you know, Mike not want to say what they want they all think they're going to get this um, secret Megan the Stallion verse one day that I have to approve at the end of the day <laughs> <laughs> so you know it's funny but uh, you know it's just like man they really he really he really turned on me you know what I'm saying I put a lot of trust into that guy never talk to him again never still haven't spoke to him from the day from the day Megan posted her picture with Jay Z I haven't talked to either one of them since that day and I just felt like that's just a that's just like the you know what I'm saying. That's just and the he's no thing. longer part of 1501. No, no, he been, but he been, he been checked been out. Mm, yeah. he been checked out way before I even knew. You know, like they, mm. I was just so like so like um, clueless to everything, man. You know, that's what upset me because they understood that I was clueless to everything, didn't know nothing. So it was easy to just do what they did to me. You know what I'm saying? But me being a person who I am, I learned what really happened. You know, now you know. I I now I know. Now you know that I know what really happened, and you know, of course, you don't want to say nothing to me. You hate when I say when I talk out in the media and stuff like that. But so it's like, they, you know they, what I think it was? I think it's not that you're so clueless. I think you're just too much of a trusting person, right? Because the thing is that um, Leo's man, <laughs> we be trusting. Yeah, but as we get older, we learn. Yeah, I'm telling yeah. you, yeah, we learn. But yeah. the thing is that because. I've seen in interviews where you just put everything in his hands because he had more knowledge right. and you didn't, you know, double check. Right. You know, do your due diligence no. and double check on a lot of different things that you were supposed to double check on. Right. Um, I don't know it's because you were too busy or too, but at the end of the day, it's your business. So you have uh, to do certain at, things. See, at the end of the day, I mean, you know, like I've heard so many stories about guys coming into to the music and letting just they partner do it. I really didn't let him just do it like like I say we live together. I was mm-hmm. over his shoulder all the time. But I'm clueless to the rap game, so I don't know what moves you're making or how you talking. I don't even know what questions to ask really. I just kinda have to take what you give me, you know what I'm saying, for that day. And so he took advantage of that, you know what I'm saying? How different is the baseball business part? The to business. the rap business totally different. part, it's way different. Like to it's the business, because business, different. It, it's just know? way more secure. Like this is really like 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 some um, tetris stuff in the music industry. Like nobody like, cares. They're, they're, like, they're, they're it's, eat it's, you alive. It's, it's no trust. Like it's all bad. Like it's nothing. They eat you alive. Nothing sacred about it. You know what I'm saying? Like for as for as baseball or sports, you know everything is. Hey man, you know every two weeks you get paid. Everything is up and up. Like it's no. 
It's none of this uh, backstab and crazy stuff that you go through in the music industry. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.